better, or that's you outside? No, that was good. What? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Got ourselves another bat for you guys, and this time we have the 2022 Axe Avenge Pro 240 bat. This is the balanced version. This basically looks like the same paint job as the previous year of the 220 bat, but this one is different. Um, cosmetically, it looks the same, of course, except for the new bat has 240 <laughs> written on the barrel. Um, but these is this is the 240 version. Um, if you haven't ever seen the axe bat before, it's very distinct in the handle. As you can see where your bottom hand goes on the bat, it is shaped like an axe handle. Um, also at the end cap, you'll see it has like a slope at the end of the bat where there's all the end weight is going to be on one side of the bat because if you've never swung an axe bat or if you've, if you swung an axe, you know, you're supposed to hit it on one side. So that's how the, the, the purpose of this bat is you're only supposed to hit it on one side and it's kind of like a golf club, which you're only supposed to hit it on one side. And the one question that everybody always asks is, Hey, how's this bat going to hold up as far as durability and, and, and all, cause you're only hitting the bat on one side. Will it last? Well, that's the $300 question, right? So we're hopefully this, this review will answer that question for you by the end here. So stay tuned. This is going to be a very long video. Um, but hey, just stay tuned and we'll get to it. Um, we tested this bat 260. It was 265 new in the wrapper. So it definitely was just, it tests definitely a little bit lower. Um, I've got Ben, Josh Avery, Savannah Mara, and Josh Mara and myself out here hitting in Flaherty Park in Wake Forest, North Carolina. Um, it was in the lower 70s when we started hitting. Uh, we're hitting a mix of classic M, some pro M balls, and we also started using some Evil BP Rockets. Guys, if you haven't gotten you some Evil BP balls yet, head over to Evil Sports, pick you some up, and use the discount code FATGUY so you can get 5% off on any of the balls you order and um, get you some balls, guys. You're going to need some. Um, I'm going to start out here with Savannah. Um, she she gave me a very thorough uh, thorough review. So let's start with her real quick. Savannah basically says she starts out with the paint. She says she says she likes the bright colors, but says it just wasn't nothing crazy to get excited about. Um, she says as far as the swingability, she said the knob significantly improves the back control. The the ability to aim and hit a specific part of the ball was much easier. Uh, she said the bat was very easy on the hands, and she says as a female player with small hands and poor grip strength, um, she, she saw a huge benefits to using this axe handle. Um, as compared, she says, with using the round, round knob bat, she said she would become really tired, her hands would become tired, sore and stiff with multiple rounds of BP. She said, however, she had no, none of these issues using the axe handle. She said people with small hands, poor grip or poor upper body strength would definitely benefit from this bat. Um, as far as performance, she said it was basically hot out of the wrapper. She said the more you swung it, the better it got. Um, she said it had a huge sweet spot. She said after, um, normally after a lot of games for her, she said she normally gets tired quickly and sometimes has trouble hitting the um, hitting a smaller sweet spot. She said she never, with the axe bat, she could she could find the sweet spot with higher percentage than other bats. Um, she she said you, you you basically had she said she had no problem pulling the ball or um or going oppo with it. Uh, she says she she death she said this bat basically outperforms her D, her DB forty four which is her current gamer, um, and she said that Unicorn Sports is supposed to come out with their own version their own axe version of this bat, and she plans on picking one up herself. Um, let's head over to Ben. What Ben had to say real quick. Um, Ben was a little bit shorter on his review, but he says, stupid hot bat after 50 swings, said it had a huge sweet spot. He said he would definitely buy one of these. Um, he he asked me, he says, hey, man, um, 
he, he had a tournament that weekend. He asked me, he says, hey, could I borrow this bat for the weekend? That's how high he thought of it. And Ben has a ton of bats. Um, he said he would prefer a little bit heavier version. He says, but when you hit the ball and you didn't feel like the, you hit the sweet spot, he said, but you knew it when it came off the bat. He said how, how well the ball was hit. Um, let's head over to Josh. Jo- Josh gave me a pretty – pretty. Josh Mayer gave me a very um, thorough review also. Um, he said it's definitely a balanced bat. He said it swings like it. Um, he said it was easy, e- real easy to control and feels very comfortable in your hands. Um, he says you need to keep your grip loose with the with this bat in order to fully benefit from the axe handle. Um, he says it does have a stiff handle, but no, but it does not sting your hands. He says guys with fast swing speeds will like how stiff this bat bat handle is. He says he does not r- recommend dropping the pinky as it seems to hurt the swing speed because you're not utilizing the handle what it was designed for. So guys that like to drop the pinky or the ring finger down at the knob, he's saying he, he kind of, um, he think that would actually hurt you a little bit. Um, he said also guys that drop the pinky might end up hitting the bat closer to the end cap than normal because the ball will not extend this, the bat will not extend as far. As far as performance, he said it was definitely hot out of the wrapper. He had a huge sweet spot. He said the bat was just straight gas. Um, he said, but his only concern was, was that, um, the compression dropped fast. Um, so that was his only concern that he was worried about. Um, he said is if he didn't have, to, if he didn't get tested, um, cause he felt like this wouldn't pass compression when we were hitting it that night, that he would, uh, he would definitely gain this. Uh, and he doesn't. And he, and he also echoes the fact that, um, Unicorn Sports is supposed to come out with this bat, a version of this bat. And they're, they, they plan on picking one up. But, uh, as far as me, um, Man, I could have made this video an hour and a half long because I had so many swings on this bat that I just had to cut so much stuff out of this. Um, Josh brought his pitching machine, which is the Jugs pitching machine, and it just, man, you have so many more swings. It's, it runs so much faster in BP when you use this machine because you just get a ton more swings. We got three fi- 350 to almost 400 swings that night on this bat. Um, hitting the mix of balls that I mentioned before, and it probably dropped uh, maybe low 70s, um, upper 60s when we finished at the field. But, man, we all came away from the field loving this bat. This bat was stupid hot. Um, did it pass compression? It did not. Um, it tested 265 when we got it, but it failed. It dropped down to 200. Yeah, I said it at 200. Now, if you're a conference guy and you were going to swing this bat, basically I'd hit some 52, about one round of 52 balls, and I'd throw it in my bag. Um, if you never get tested, oh, my God, dude, you have to get this bat. As far as the grip, the $300 question is, do you think you would like the grip? Um, ben, uh, like Josh Mayer and stuff, they, they have an overlap grip, and they absolutely crush the ball. Um, Josh has stadium power. Ben sniffs at Stadium Power, and these guys can crush it. And but they also have more like they'll drop their pinkies down, and they do an overlap rip, somewhat of an overlap rip. And they didn't have a problem with this bat. No, and I don't believe they dropped their pinky. They did not drop their pinky down because they felt like it would hurt them a little bit. But it did not hurt guys that say that. Let you know that's the one thing that guys saying. I know some people have stubborn ways, the stubborn way that they don't want to switch over or anything. But I'm telling you, guys, I know that's why I said it's the $300 question. Hey, do I drop this kind of money on a bat on just something I'm going to try out? I'm telling you guys, this is a hot bat. Um, I mean, it is higher as fire. I took this bat out by myself. I'm going to say this real fast because the video will be in it soon. But I took four senior bats. I was super tired that day. My swing was all jacked up because I've been trying to change my swing a lot. And it's the off season. And I was super tired, and I went out there and swung, and I took four senior bats, and I was like, God, I'm swinging like crap. And I saw the axe bat was in my hand, and I was doing radars. I was doing radar speeds. Don't ask me why I was doing this. I was just doing it for um, shits and giggles. But this bat beat every senior, every senior bat out there by three miles per hour, and they test it lower than this bat. And that's what's crazy. I'm just telling you. Take a look at the axe handle, guys. It will help you. It'll add some, I think, will add some sp- some swing speed to your your bat. Um, I definitely could have liked the, um, like a little bit heavier bat. 
But man, I absolutely love this bat. Everybody else out there, I love this bat. They had just a ton of fun swinging it. Um, they do some. They do make an ASA and they do make a dual stamp. I've got a review coming on that soon. And we'll see how that is. But uh, guys, I'm gonna leave a link down below and it'll ex explain to you the difference between a round knob and the axe handle. That kind of where they did a study on it, trying to um, basically break it down for you and let you take a look at it and stuff. So I'll put that down in the descriptions, guys. But uh, I guess that's it, guys. Until next time, keep hitting it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I appreciate you guys watching. We'll talk to you later. Them woods kind of kicked my ass. Huh? Them woods kind of.